I believe that God looks uh, compassionately on those who are hard on themselves. In the sense of uh, recognition of our faults and weaknesses, what, kind, uh, what guidance can Huzur offer in relation in implementing change in one's life as this appears to cause difficulty at least in the beginning uh, stages? Uh, Babirhan asks. Again, this time. See, it's difficult to comprehend the question so that I can give it an answer which exactly satisfies his query. Do you, could you explain? Could you know him? You try to explain it again, please. You see, he assists me and he assists me and they don't understand either. He says, uh, but, uh, if you read the question slowly, yes. then maybe we understand the meaning. Okay. He says, I believe that God looks compassionately on those who are hard on themselves. Uh, God looks compassionately on those who are hard to themselves. Yes. Or hard upon themselves. Yes. Right. In the sense of recognition our fault and weaknesses, what guidance can Huzur offer in relation in implementing change in one's life as this appears to cause Difficulty at least in the beginning uh, this, uh, stages. The remaining question is totally incomprehensible. <laughs> but I can, I can build on the first part and answer in a manner that I feel he would be satisfied. The first part is very clear. God is compassionate upon those who are not compassionate upon themselves, who criticize themselves severely. The best uh, benefit from this situation can be drawn if every human being is critical of himself as though he were criticizing somebody else and not himself. If he acquires this attitude towards himself, then he will find himself very unforgiving and very uncompromising. Because this is what man does in relation to others. He's very uncompromising and very unforgiving. The slightest fault he finds in somebody who should normally be held in respect because of his status in life, because of his piety, which is known to people. You find the slightest blemish in that and you burst up and you blow up. And you say, look at this man. He should be holy, but he is actually suffering from this flaw, which holy man cannot. A holy man cannot. So in case of others, he is very unforgiving and very uncompromising. He forgets that after all, everybody is human. And if Allah covers him with his... Uh, curtain of Satari, which is Allah extends his curtain of forgiveness to him so that others do not see his weaknesses like Allah does. If it had not happened so, everyone in the world would be condemned by Allah. Every person in the world would be condemned. So it is largely because of Allah's forgiving nature that we do not uh, expect him to punish us for most follies which we ordinarily possess. This is in case of others whom we observe with very strict and censuring eyes. If this attitude is converted entirely given a different direction of inward looks, Instead of external looks, if said a person acquires this attitude towards himself, then such a person can be described in the Quranic terms as Zaloom and Jahula. A person is very unforgiving to himself. 
and the greatest of these people, Prabhu Sunna Sadhguru. The two characters which go together, one is the loom, is extremely cruel to himself. And number two, Jahul, he does not care what happens as a result of that. If these two characters are learned from Ahadur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then that is the ideal policy in life you can follow. I hope I have answered the the remaining part of the question as well. Have I? Yes. Okay. Thank you.